Is this thing on? Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> Good morning. Oh my God, look at my hair. I cannot, no, no, no. I cannot start my day, my first day like this, my first vlog, looking such a mess. Nope, it's not happening. I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready and then I'll be back in a bit. There you go, that's better. <laughs> I look way better. Um, I'm so happy for this. <laughs> Well, for the new subscribers and the returning subscribers, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeffrey Ortega. Um, this is my first blog. This is the beginning of uh, my life that I'm gonna be sharing with you. Um, no, 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 you know what? No, I cannot start my first blog, my first day here at my house. So we're gonna go to the beach and I'm gonna tell you more all about me. So let's go. Alrighty, well before heading to the beach, I gotta go to the pharmacy because I gotta get my medication and a couple things. So hopefully I'll get my stuff and then we'll be ready to go to the pharmacy CVS. Grab my stuff, my medication and everything, and now let's go to the beach. <laughs> the city of Deerfield Beach. Deerfield Beach was established. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not coming to talk to you guys about the beach. I'm coming to talk to you guys about me. <laughs> so this is the place that I come to all the time when I want to sit back and relax because it's so calm You know the beach, you know, this is the place where I come here and think You know think about how my life has been going what I've been through, you know where I'm going and uh, What's gonna be you know my future, you know um, For those who know don't know me yet. My name is Jeffrey for those who already know me already. My name is Obviously Jeffrey and I'm 20 years old. I'm Colombian um, you know I was born over there, raised in New York, and I moved to Florida a couple of years ago due to the weather in New York. I have a rare disorder called Proteus Syndrome. Proteus Syndrome is better known as the elephant man disease. There's only 200 cases reported worldwide and only two doctors that know the diagnose. Um, I'm the only one reported in Colombia. It started with me when I was nine months old and it affected several parts of my body. Proteus Syndrome has affected my feet, as you can see, my knees, my hands, you can see that better, my other hand, and my hip. So Proteus had affected me in several parts of my body like I said before. When I was nine months old as a baby, it started with this finger, and then as, as soon as I became, you know, a year old, it started with this leg, longer than the right one, by, you know, a couple inches. When I was nine, between eight or nine years old, that's when Proteus syndrome started spreading more on my body. Um, by the age of 10, I wasn't able to wear shoes, around 9 or 10 years old between that and I had my first surgery and it was very very tough on me because after that I wasn't able to walk anymore. From the age 12 to 14, 15 years old, I had multiple surgeries on my legs, both legs and unfortunately, majority of the surgeries that it, it fell because my right leg was a 90 degree angle and the foot was almost backwards. After my last surgery that I had was in 2005, and after that surgery, it was such a blessing. It was such a big thing for me because it made all the other surgeries before that um, made it way better, made it look such better in, in multiple ways that after that I was able to sit down properly, I was able to move around properly, and instead of my leg was being backwards, you know. I'm so sorry about the audio. The audio is horrible. I mean, you know, with the wind and cards and everything. Sorry about that. <laughs> but um, I want to let you guys know more about me. You know, like I said, this is my first blog. Obviously, you can tell how, you know, nervous I am. <laughs> but, um, you know, little by little, I keep sharing more about my life and keep telling you how things I've been through and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I consider my life as being a blessing. I feel happy about who I am and what I became to, you know, thanks to my mom and my family, you know, that soon you guys are going to see more about them. My treatment, my medical treatment is treated at the National Institute of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. And I've been there since I was 12 years old and, uh, you know, um, it's been a long journey, like I said. Right now, it's after so many surgeries and so many things that I've been going through my life, um, right now, you know, I'm seeking for a surgery. Unfortunately, I'm not able to pay for it because, you know, it's so expensive and that is to amputate my left foot and it's been giving me and causing me more issues than I more than I expected it you know um, it's been growing to the part that it's 
I barely cannot wear any shoes anymore. I cannot tolerate wearing shoes. There's an old smell that is so strong, you know, and uh, sometimes, you know, my mom has to help me to clean. Sometimes I clean it, I wash myself, I try to spend time, you know, showering, you know, and uh, it's tough. Like I said, my life is not easy, but, you know, I have a lot of blessing. I keep, you know, having my prayers to God and everything and that I'm gonna get better. Right now, what I have is some pair of Crocs, custom made. They were made, you know, uh, a couple years ago, but uh, that's the only pair that I can wear, you know, that I don't have any other shoes. And that's in the meantime until I have my surgery. Here yeah, goes the chopper. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> until I have my surgery, until I have, you know, the way that I can amputate the foot without, you know, uh, having so much difficulty because it's such a dangerous surgery that I could lose my life. You know, I almost lost it when I was, uh, you know, 14, 15 and my last surgery and uh, it was very tough and I don't want to have surgeries but at the same time I feel like I want to have it because it's going to get me better in many ways. So hopefully I'm going to have it soon. You guys might wonder what I do in my meantime. Well, in the meantime, I, I'm writing a book about my life. You know, I've been working on that a couple of years but, you know, it takes a long time to actually, you know, have all the memoirs, have all the stories of your life, put it in a book, it's not easy. You know, passing it also from English to Spanish is a uh, huge difficulty stuff, you know, but um, somehow you're gonna conquer it and that's what I believe every day. And also besides my book, I also work on photography. You know, this is the career that I love. I love taking pictures. I love to, you know, share what's going on, you know, from the nature to breakfast, whatever it is, I love to take pictures. Um, I also, you know, and this is a new part of it, and I also, you know, work as a teacher. So that's a very big, big plus because, you know, I speak Spanish and English, so it's really easy for me to translate and to communicate with, you know, being bilingual. What I love the most about the beach, you know, even, you know, people from all different ages and all different variety, you know, ethnic cities and all that stuff come here and love to enjoy this, you know, this awesome weather, you know, I just love it so much. How, you know, here in Deerfield and in Florida, there's so many cultures and everything, food. I love food. I love how, you know, I can have, you know, Chinese food, uh, you know, whatever it is, or McDonald's or Colombian food, you know, um, you know, Peruvian, Mexican food, whatever it is around, you know, and I love the most. I love to have, you know, such a, you know, diverse cultures. It makes me happy. So, you guys might wonder or, you know, probably ask, you know what I think. What I think that I do love to do. Uh, you know my hobbies or whatever. I love music. You know, I believe that music is like another language. You know, for me, I don't speak two languages. I speak three, or better yet, four, because I also been studying French. And <coughs> excuse me. And you know, music is like part of my life. You know, whenever I feel sad, whenever I feel happy. You know, besides coming here. You know, I listen to music and that's my other language, you know, I listen to all types of musics and it makes me happy. Um, what else can I tell you guys, you know, I, I love computers, computers is my life. You know, when I was little I didn't think that I was gonna, you know, uh, learn anything about computers. I didn't care about computers, I was like, oh no, I don't want to hear about computers, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it, you know, it's too complicated, but you know, over, over through time when I was in high school and I went to college, that's another thing I wanted you guys to know, let you guys know. I went to, you know, elementary school, you know, high school and college a little bit, you know, uh, I didn't get a chance to finish because due to, you know, financial issues, but um, hopefully soon, someday I'll come back. Um, besides that, you know, I learned, you know, graphic arts and web design and, uh, Pretty much that's, that's a lot that I know, you know, so far. And now with this career, with the photography, I feel like it's a career that I love. You know, you got to do what you love the most, and that's exactly what I'm doing. You know, I'm very happy about that. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> like I said, I'm going to go have lunch. Well, yeah, I'm going to go have lunch pretty much. Well, I mean, right now it's like around 2 o'clock. So I'm going to go have lunch, and... Uh, yeah, that's that's what we're gonna this do next. It's such a small short video, but at the same time, you guys are gonna see more about me. And you know, I'm gonna make it longer. I'll try to do my best. You know, I'll try to do my best for you guys. Thank you guys. Some of you guys might know or might ask, wonder why or what do I love to eat? And uh, well, first of all, I love to eat Colombian food. You know, whatever Colombian food, I don't know. 
comment down below you guys let me know what you guys love to eat you know I want to know more about you guys at the same time you guys get to know me and I want to know, know what you guys love to eat you guys I don't get to you know hear from you guys until I see the comments but um, you know you guys are gonna get to know me more and then I'm gonna get to know you guys you know more you know I'm gonna try to do as much as I can for you guys so that's a little little thing about me and my life you know that I wanted to share with you guys you know this is just the beginning of my blogs this is the first video and you know if you have any questions or anything like that make sure you comment down below and you know don't forget to subscribe hit that bell button you know and uh, put a like on that on this video also you know that will that will help me a lot you know I love you guys thank you guys for watching this video and you soon you'll see more about me and again you know just don't forget to subscribe follow me on my social media and thank you so much guys and I'll see you on the next time take care bye bye